Hello, and welcome to the Missouri Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. My name is Krista, and I will be your facilitator tonight for this session. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. You are muted and your video is off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. However, if you have any questions, please utilize the Q&A button to type them at any time. I do encourage you to check out all the sessions that have been recorded tonight. They will be available at strivescan.com slash Missouri. And first up, our first institution tonight is Illinois College. All righty. How's everyone doing tonight? I am Joe Legendre. I am the admissions counselor for the Missouri region at Illinois College. And today I'm going to talk to you about the oldest baccalaureate degree granting college in the state of Illinois. Um, first thing, you belong at IC. At Illinois College, um, you truly matter. Um, your individual experience with faculty and staff that are going to put you first at all points in times. Your experience, your education, and your future matter to every single one of us here on campus. Illinois College was founded in 1829. Illinois College is the first degree granting college in the state of Illinois. Um, we have a rich history, nearly 200 years of student success. Since 1829, students have truly graduated from Illinois College. We talk about Illinois College and we talk about the diversity on campus. Um, we actually have students coming from all over the world. Um, we actually have 30 states and 18 foreign countries represented here on campus. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to utilize students from all over the place for networking opportunities for your future. We almost have an even split male to female with a 52% female, 48% male rate ratio. Um, and at the end of the day, all of our students, regardless of where you're from, regardless of what your major is, regardless of where you come or what walk of life you're from, all of our students graduate ready. Nearly 100% of our students within a year of graduation go on to find a job or go on to the graduate school of their choice. A little bit about Jacksonville. Jacksonville is a small town of roughly 25,000 people, roughly 30 minutes from the state capital of Illinois of Springfield, an hour and 30 minutes from St. Louis, and about three hours and 30 minutes from Chicago. In Jacksonville, you're going to find over 50 restaurants. You're going to find two movie theaters. You'll find eight parks, multiple lakes, as well as a friendly community that's welcoming to students from all over the world. You're gonna have a lot of hands-on learning opportunities at Illinois College. All of our students are guaranteed hands-on learning opportunities during their time here. Um, all of our students are guaranteed an internship to get relevant experience to push them forward in their professional careers. Um, over 80 clubs or organizations here on campus as well as service opportunities. Students are all engaged in campus involvement in some way, shape or form. Uh, you're gonna have international travel opportunities here at Illinois College. We actually have traditional study abroad and breakaway trips. To the, and on the breakaway trips, we actually send you away for 10 days to three weeks. We give you a thousand dollar grant for your first trip. And we allow you to learn transferable skills from other countries, from other people uh, to be able to make you feel comfortable on your professional journey. Um, research opportunities are gonna be available for you at Illinois College. Um, even student faculty research opportunities are available for you during your time here. Academics. Uh, we have about 50 plus undergraduate majors and programs. We have a student faculty ratio of 13 to 1. We have an average class size of 17 students. So you're truly going to get an individualized classroom experience. There's a lot of collaborative work that's done and a lot of hands on experience that's done inside the classroom as well. Group projects, presentations, and even research opportunities with your peers and your classmates to be able to make you put everything into perspective and to practice before it's time to do it for a living. Uh, the best part about Illinois College is some of our more popular majors. I will tell you, um, we have everything from business administration, we have uh, philosophy, or, excuse me, psychology, we have rhetorical studies and communication, um, we have nursing, and we even have some hidden gym programs like agro-business and computer science. Athletics, we have over 20 NCAA Division III athletic teams. We have co-ed athletic teams, as well as esports here at Illinois College. Um, if you don't want to get involved in athletics, if you're not wanting to compete at the NCAA Division III level, you have opportunities to compete through intramural opportunities and to be a part of our student section that's called the Blue Group. Next steps for you at Illinois College. Seniors, apply. Um, we are test score optional, so um, let us know if you feel like including your test score into your application process. Um, you submit your high school transcripts. Um, after that, we'll be able to get you a decision and have you visit campus. Um, we would love to see you guys here at any point in time. Um, we are doing visits every day of the week, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., um, and you can get a visit scheduled on our website. Um, after that, October 1st, we recommend you file the FAFSA and add Illinois College to it, as well as start applying for outside scholarships. 
Here's a breakdown of our tuition and fees. Just remember that these include textbooks and a finish and floor guarantee, as well as you'll see we have scholarships that range from 13,000 to full tuition. We also have geolocational scholarships that range from $2,000 for Missouri students. And um, we also have a scholarship for visiting and following your FAFSA. Follow us on social media. Um, if you guys have any questions for us moving forward, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Crowder College. Hey everybody, I'm gonna share my screen real fast. All right, hi everybody, my name is Heather Flint and I'm with Crowder College. Uh, Crowder College is a community college in Southwest Missouri that offers over 80 degree programs and certificates. I'd like to tell you today a little bit about Crowder and why it's a great college option for you to check out. Uh, you should come to Crowder because Crowder cares. I like cheesy acronyms. So we're gonna go through um, five reasons to choose Crowder. Uh, first of all, um, Crowder cares, the C is cost. First, our cost is affordable. If you're a Missouri student, we have the real A plus scholarship. With the A plus scholarship, you can attend Crowder without having to pay for common fees or tuition. If you're not a Missouri student, we're still very affordable and do not charge out of state tuition. We also have lots of great scholarship opportunities and we can help you complete the FAFSA to see if you're eligible for grant money, which will go further at Crowder because of the lower cost. A is for academics. Uh, we will provide you with the academics that you're looking for. As previously mentioned, we have over 80 degree programs and certificates. Some of our most popular programs include nursing, agriculture, vet tech, criminal justice, welding, and diesel tech. And if you're undecided on what you want to do, that's totally okay. We also have a general studies degree that covers the core classes you need and includes electives that you can use to explore different programs. The general studies degree and many of our degrees will easily transfer on to most four-year colleges where you can continue your studies. We have small class sizes and we will help you meet your goal, whether that's quickly getting into the workplace or easily transferring on to finish a degree at a four-year university. R is resources. We have a lot of great resources to help you succeed. If you're the first in your family to go to college or your family has moved around a lot for work, we have programs specifically for you. We also have a lot of clubs and organizations to help you get involved on campus and meet other people. One of our most popular clubs is the Crowder Aggies. Throughout the school year, they do many activities, including social events and community service events. But the highlight of the year is traveling. And they often travel for a couple weeks to locations like Scotland and Hawaii to learn about the agricultural industry in that area. And fun fact, you don't have to be part of the agricultural program or doing any ag majors to be part of Crowder Aggies. E stands for environment. We have six locations, and this is so that taking classes is more convenient for you. Our main campus is Neosho, Missouri, but we also have campuses in Cassville, Joplin, McDonald County, Nevada, and Webb City. A unique thing about us is that we do have housing on our Neosho campus. Many community colleges do not have housing, but we have two different styles. We have the apartment and a more traditional dorm style option. One of my favorite things about Crowder is what we call the Crowder family atmosphere. Teachers and staff at Crowder truly care about you and want to help you succeed. We also have a variety of sports that you can get involved in or cheer on at Crowder. We have men's baseball, women's basketball, men's soccer, women's softball, and esports. Scholarships are available for all sports, including esports. The final reason to choose Crowder is because we will help you succeed and meet your goals, whatever they may look like. As we talked about earlier, we are a cost effective choice. Students graduating from Crowder can more easily get a degree without going into debt. A unique benefit that Crowder offers is our lifetime learner program. Once you graduate from Crowder, you can take a class every semester and not have to pay for tuition. We wanna encourage you to continue to learn and grow. So in summary, why choose Crowder? Because Crowder cares about you. We are a cost-effective choice that will give you the high quality academics you want in a friendly environment with lots of resources to help you succeed. So if you're interested in becoming a student at Crowder College, these are some of your next steps. First, you're going to want to complete our application at crowder.edu. Just click the apply now button to get started. We no longer have any application fees as of October 1st, which is very exciting. Next, you'll want to complete the FAFSA. 
This is open for seniors as of October 1st. If you need help, please contact us. We have a free resource on campus that can help you complete this sometimes difficult process. In February, you'll need to fill out the scholarship application at crowder.edu backslash scholarships and complete the housing application if you're wanting to live on campus. Next step is sending us your ACT scores. If you haven't taken the ACT or don't want to, we also have a free placement test you can take on campus. Finally, you'll need to send us your official final high school transcript and any official college transcripts you might have. Once you get those steps completed, you'll need to enroll for classes. Finally, here's my contact information. Uh, go ahead and take a picture or screenshot of it so that you'll have my info saved. Please reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a tour of campus. We're currently doing in-person tours and would love to meet you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Hendricks College. Hey everybody, um, I'm not going to share a presentation with you right now. I'm just going to talk to you directly. And if you want to look stuff up while I'm talking or pause me, if this is the recorded version, then go right ahead. Um, so our basic profile at Hendricks College is that we are a small liberal arts college uh, in uh, the Little Rock, Arkansas area in Conway. So we, we have about 1,100 students. Our average class size is only 16, and our student to faculty ratio is about 11 to 1. So you really get that close knit relationships with your professors and with your peers, uh, with staff. Uh, there is uh, the community of Hendricks, the sense of community is really strong, and it actually extends far beyond the campus. Um, I'll see folks from Hendricks, uh, students uh, and faculty and staff, both in Conway and in Little Rock, and we keep the discussions going outside of uh, outside of the classroom and off campus too. So you get that community, but you're also just down the street from a large school, University of Central Arkansas. So you get that college town experience, that small college experience, but in a college town and just 35 minutes from the state capital of Little Rock uh, and all of the access to the the businesses and uh, the music venues um, that a cap and uh, uh, internship opportunities that uh, Capital City has to offer. Uh, so if I could say that there are two things that are unique about Hendricks besides being a small liberal arts college in the South is that we have a career focus and an independent mindset. So I'll start with that second one. Uh, the independent mindset comes from our Odyssey program. This is really our calling card. Uh, you'll have your major and you'll have the structure of your major and uh, all of the required coursework there, so a structure. But then on top of that, you have to do at least three Odyssey projects, which are independent projects that you propose yourself. And the requirement is three of them, but most students end up doing seven to 10. And that's because this is a really flexible requirement. It can be anything from if you hear a concept in class, but just for a week or two, but then the class moves on and you want to go back to studying that topic a little more in depth. Well, then you could pair up with a faculty mentor and do an independent study on that topic. And that could be an Odyssey credit, but it can also be coaching a youth league over the summer. It could be applying for funding to study abroad. Uh, saying, here's the funding that I'd like to do this activity and then uh, to be able to follow through on that. It could be uh, doing an art project. Uh, Hendricks College actually uh, incorporates permanently into the campus uh, student odyssey art projects. There's a, a chandelier in the student union that was a, a student project. Um, there are other ones as well. So the Odyssey can be anything that you want it to be, as long as you can justify it as part of your education. And the vision for the Odyssey that we have is not only do you get to direct your own education while you're at Hendricks, and, uh, and for no two students' experiences to be the same, but it also trains you to become an advocate for yourself and to feel comfortable asking for what you want. Uh, to if you go into academia or into business or the nonprofit world, uh, you have to ask for funding all the time. And even if you don't go into one of those fields, asking for a raise or a promotion or transferring responsibilities, to be able to have the training in undergrad to say, here's what I want, here's what I would do with it, here is why I'm the right person to do it, and then to follow through, I think is really cool training to have. And then the other half of that coin is the career focus. We've really invested in our career services office uh, the last couple of years, and it's outstanding. Uh, we've been around about 150 years. We know people everywhere, uh, especially in the South and uh, Arkansas and the states around Arkansas. Um, we have thousands more internship opportunities per year than we have students. 
And uh, if you're looking at maybe going to grad school, a pre-med or a pre-law or another pre-professional program uh, route, then you would have another advisor who would match you up with both the Odyssey office and the career services office to make sure that you get the internships, the work experience, the job shadowing, the independent studies, the alumni connections, the referrals to get a really strong grad school application. And the result of that is that we have a 90% grad school acceptance rate, which is twice the national average. Um, so that's how we get that career focus and also a, um, uh, an independent mindset. Uh, we don't have any Greek life on campus. It is uh, no fraternities or sororities, but as far as student life goes, what takes the place of a community within a community is your dorm. People are very attached to their dorms. They get very loyal to their dorms, very connected. Um, and uh, each dorm has its own identity that develops based on the, the people who are living there that year. Alumni will even ask you, one of the first questions they'll say would be, what, what was your freshman dorm? And uh, they may like what you say and they may not because there are rivalries between them. Um, so that's a little bit of a, a taste of the student life on campus. Um, athletics, we are a division three school. So we don't offer scholarships for athletics, we're not allowed. Uh, but on the other hand, a third of our students are athletes. So athletics has a very respected and well attended presence on campus. People go to the games because uh, everybody's got friends in athletics. Um, to talk about scholarships real quickly, we have a new program called Tuition Advantage, where if you, uh, if this is our tuition and this is the publicly listed tuition at the flagship public school in your state, which for Missouri, I believe is Mizzou, and your merit-based aid doesn't get you down to their price, then we'll bump it down and match their price. And often your merit-based aid will get you lower than their price. And uh, it's not like we're going to bump it back up. But if your merit-based aid doesn't get you down to their publicly listed price, then we will match their price so that we make the decision of public versus private a little bit easier for y'all. So if you want to know more about Hendrix, I will uh, put my information in the chat. Um, we are hendrix.edu. Uh, hopefully, you have been scouring our website while I've been talking. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Columbia College. All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Eric Neeson, uh, obviously here with Columbia College. I'm going to start sharing my screen here. All right. So about Columbia College, we are a small private four year liberal arts and science institution, uh, pretty small campus. We've got about a thousand students on our on our campus. So students that choose us, they're kind of looking for that smaller environment, smaller feel. Um, average class size is about 15 to 20. Uh, and then the biggest class you can ever have with us is actually capped at 35 students. So again, never in that huge lecture hall, which is a big draw for a lot of our students. Uh, on the flip side of that, though, being that we are in Columbia, Missouri, it is home to the University of Missouri. Um, Stevens college as well and there's a pretty big community college presence here too so big college town um, lots to do and kind of the best of both worlds you know you've got that small campus small community but yet you walk five ten minutes and you got all the restaurants and shops you know and all the fun stuff maybe catch a Mizzou football game or you know a big concert on the weekend so um, definitely very unique in that you know we are small but you have that big college town to go with it and um, we offer around 35 to 40 ish majors um, so lots to choose from and I'll talk about those here in a second um, and then moving on our admission requirements. So first of all, our application is clearly it's online, um, but it is free and there is no essay. Yes. So um, pretty painless process um, to get into our school. We are test optional. And so 3.0 high school GPA. Congratulations. You will be automatically admitted. Um, our other way to get in is going to be a 2.5 high school GPA and then either a 21 on your ACT or if you finish in the top half your graduate putting class be waived the ACT score. Uh, and then for any transfer students out there, um, you would just need a 2.0 college GPA and then 24 college credit hours to be admissible. Uh, a neat thing about our tuition that we actually just started this past fall um, is what's called Truition. And we got it from truth and tuition. I know, very clever, right? But um, no, so our slogan for it actually was um, no book costs, no surprises, and hardly any fees. And so the biggest piece to that is going to be the no book costs. Um, you know, those can be a few hundred dollars per class. And so that's all going to be included in your tuition. The other piece to that, though, the no fees thing is also pretty large. Um, a lot of times you'll get to a school and they're like, okay, here's our tuition. And then, oh, by the way, there's a technology fee. There's 
there's an athletics fee, um, there's an online fee, and we don't have any of that. And so all of that um, is included in your tuition. There is one pesky little $40 parking pass fee, but outside of that, everything is covered in your tuition. Um, we also offer what's called a fixed rate tuition. That means that whatever you start paying for tuition as a freshman will lock in for up to five years. And for this coming year, we're gonna be at $24,806. And then our, these are our merit-based scholarships for our freshmen. Um, they are determined, we do have a test optional scholarships and then we have a um, scholarships or a calculation, I should say, that's gonna be GPA plus a test score. Whichever one is gonna get you the higher scholarship is the one that we go with. Um, we do cap our GPA only scholarships at the CC distinction. Um, but again, you can climb up to that, that top one, the CC excellence with a test score. Um, we also have some automatic awards. Um, I'm not going to read all these to you. One that does stick out, though, to a lot of people is going to be our A-plus recognition scholarship, which is $1,500 for over four years. So we know that that's a lot of work to complete for you Missouri students. And so um, we, we want to recognize that with a scholarship of $1,500. And then I do want to point out that we do have an Ivy grant, which is going to be based off your financial aid information. So based off your FAFSA, um, some students qualify for zero, but some students can qualify all the way up to $8,000. So a lot of funding to be had. We do have competitive scholarships as well. Um, we to, to be qualified for our competitive scholarship day, um, it's gonna, you're just gonna need a 3.0 um, high school GPA to compete for our diversity excellence award, our leadership and service award, and then the, our first generational awards. For our top scholarships, we do award one full tuition scholarship and then two 75% tuition scholarships. For those, you will need a 3.6 and 26 super scored ACT. I did forget to mention that we do super score ACTs for um, scholarship purposes as well. Uh, this is taking place December Fourth, uh, you do just need to be accepted to Columbia College, and then after that, we can get you some more information in regards to competing at Scholarship Day. It will be in person this year too, so we're really excited about that. Um, these are just some of our majors here. So business is is a is one school that we have, and it's our most popular, um, you know, major on campus. You can see there's tons of different options to choose from here. Um, we deal did just build a brand new building cleverly named New Hall uh, back in 2019. And on the bottom of it actually houses our School of Business. And then the next three floors are residential floors. So we've invested quite a bit into our business program uh, lately. Then we have natural sciences, some big ones for us, forensic science. We're actually one of three schools in the entire state of Missouri that has forensics as an actual major. Um, and then biology is really big. So like the pre-med tracks and things in the nursing, we have a whole hospital wing set up just for our nursing students. The next one is humanities arts, and this is kind of more of a, you know, uh, collective uh, issue here, if you will. So we have education, which is really popular, psychology, you can see arts, music, and so graphic design is also a big one for us in this field as well. Um, we also have what's called CC Max. So for those of you that are, you, you know, want to use your A-plus money, we do have a program with Moberly Area Community College, where basically you would use your A-plus money with MACC, and then you take a course or two with us each semester, get charged the MACC rate, you can live on our campus, you have all the resources from both different um, institutions. So a nice little program, uh, and I can get you some more information on that as well, and you can find that on our website too. We are very competitive in athletics. I would say that we operate kind of like a competitive division two school. All of our sports teams win. And even if you're not into sports, it's just more fun when your teams win. Um, the expectations at Columbia College, definitely conference championships, you know, and making the national tournament. So a lot of recent national success with that, with that program too. And then these are, this is just kind of a wordle here. Um, about what's their favorite thing about Columbia College from some of our current students. You know, you can see small family community, and those are our current students talking. And I, I don't think there's better people to talk to um, than those there. So um, just like to show this one. And then the next steps, of course, apply for free, send in your transcripts. And then we are offering personalized tours Monday through Friday. Um, we also have some Saturdays as well. And there's different times uh, each day for that. So we'd love to see you on campus. Uh, and I look forward to answering some more questions at the end of this. So thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Okay, so my name is Dobrika Flowers. Um, I also have my coworker here. I'm Kayla Staley, and I'm going to give you guys the presentation. So in fall 2021, we actually welcomed 1,992 first-year students, and we welcomed 1,022 transfer students. Our average class size is going to be 20, 
Our sorry to interrupt. Time. So sorry to interrupt. I, I don't see it on my end. Um, can you try to unshare and then reshare it really fast? Yes. Okay. Sorry. No worries. I just want to make sure everyone can see it. Okay, can you see it now? I cannot, but um, does anyone else want to, um, you can even just put it in the chat, but if you can see it or not, just so that we know. Try again, try unsharing and sharing it. And so I do see someone said that they can't see it as well. So okay. <clears throat> a few folks can't see it. What about now? No, I don't see it. Okay. No. Um, okay. No, breathing. Sorry. Do you want to email me a presentation? Or can yes. someone else, yeah, like screen share it? Um, I'm happy to. I put my email. This is Heather Flint with Crowder. If you want to, I put my email just in the chat. If you want to send it to me real fast and I can open okay. it. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone for bearing with us for a few minutes while we um, get some tech issues fixed. In the meantime, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to utilize the Q&A button to ask any institution. If you have general questions, you can ask uh, a general a question to all institutions and they'll be able to answer you. Delbreak, are you sending it to Heather or me? I was going to try to send it to Heather. Okay. Let me know when you sent it. Okay, I just sent it. All right, we'll wait one more minute. And if not, we will have to proceed without the presentation, okay? Thank you. It still hasn't come through, but if you get started and it comes through, I will, I will share, okay? Okay, so. I'll just go ahead and start. Okay, so um, once again, we did welcome 1,992 first year students on campus and 1,022 transfer students. Um, we are uh, average class size of 20 and we are considered to be a mid-sized university, which is a benefit because our students have a lot of access to their professors. Um, our student to faculty ratio is going to be 15 to 1. And then 
we have about 13,000 students on campus. So we have over 120 undergraduate degrees within our seven schools and colleges. Most of our schools do offer direct entry. And what that means is that our first year students that meet the requirements will have access to additional advising resources and be guaranteed a spot in that program from the beginning. Um, the School of Pharmacy does have an additional profile that's done through the Meridian Scholarship application. And many of, many of our programs also offer an accelerated degree which allows you to complete a bachelor's and master's degree in five years. We are test optional for fall 22. Our current GPA requirement for automatic admission is a 2.6. If your GPA is lower than that, we will still consider you for acceptance. You would additionally need to take the SAT and make a 990 or the ACT and make a 19. Applicants that do not meet the test score requirement can also be referred to the admission review committee and will need to complete a personal statement and submit final transcripts. If you are interested in direct entry for your program, all the eligible, eligibility and enrollment requirements are listed at siue.edu slash direct. Our cost for a first year student living on campus, taking 15 credit hours, and with the meal plan is $22,100 for the year. We do include many services in our fees, but one of the best things that we offer is our textbooks rental service. You would not pay for textbooks while you're attending the university, which will save a lot of money. We also do not require our first year students to live on campus. And lastly, we do offer in-state tuition to all states. You can apply to SIUE by going on our website or using the Common App. The application just needs your official high school transcripts and also a $40 uh, application fee. Our priority deadline is still December 1st and our final application deadline for fall 22 is gonna be May 1st. So about our scholarships, we do offer a full ride scholarship called the Meridian Scholarship. The Meridian is gonna require a separate application and you would need a 3.5 GPA to be able to apply. There is a hard deadline of December 1st. Um, if you're awarded this scholarship, it'll cover your tuition, fees, and room and board. We also offer the Janetta Haley Scholarship, which is $2,000 a year for students who are underrepresented. And we also have the SIUE Commitment. So the SIUE Commitment will cover tuition and fees for students who complete a FAFSA and fall below $63,000 income and $50,000 in assets. This scholarship does have limited funding. So we do encourage students to submit their FAFSA and complete their application early if they wanna get the SIE commitment grant. We also offer a scholarship called Cougar Pride. Um, so for Cougar Pride, you would need a 3.0 GPA. And depending on your GPA, you will receive between $2,000 and $4,000 each year. Um, all of our uh, scholarships would also be fall entry only, and they do, um, they are awarded for fall. So for our transfer applications, the process is going to be similar. Um, you would need to complete your application, it would require a $40 application fee, your official college or university transcripts. Um, if you have less than 30 semester hours, then we would also need your high school transcript. That deadline is gonna be uh, March 1st. And then we have a final deadline of four weeks prior to the start of term. So for our transfer scholarships, um, they are gonna be similar. So basically we're gonna offer those Cougar Prize scholarships again, the Janetta Haley and the SIUE commitment. So they are gonna be for two years and um, we do not offer the Meridian Scholarship, but we do have Phi Theta Kappa. So basically with that, if you join that organization, you will receive a $2,000 scholarship. And then some additional ways to check out SIUE. So we do have daily tours on campus. Um, you can do that. We offer tours in person as well as virtual. And we do have some preview days coming up as well. So there you can talk to our academic departments and see our facilities. Um, our next preview day is gonna be on Saturday and it's gonna be for pharmacy students. 
And then our last one will be for engineer students. Um, and basically that will focus on that specific department. You can check out all of these visit opportunities at www.siue.edu slash visit. And you'll be able to see all the dates and also register for those visit opportunities. And so if you do have any additional questions, you can contact us um, about anything that wasn't covered today in our presentation. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And if you would like to know who your individual counselor is based on your region, you can go to our, re our website at siue.edu slash undergraduate slash contact. And you can use that link and it will tell you exactly who your counselor is you'll also be able to set up a virtual or in-person appointment. Thank you so much. And thank you all again for your patience while we figure out those tech, tech, tech issues. And thank you for those um, that jumped in to assist. Uh, we really appreciate it. So at this moment, I ask that all the institutions please um, share your um, video so that we can move on to the Q&A portion of the night. Awesome, thank you all so much. So the first question I have for you all tonight, uh, and again, attendees, you can drop in any questions in the Q&A button, um, but the first question I have for you is, uh, what is one thing you want students to remember about your institution? And if we can go in presentation order. Yeah, I'll, I'll start. Um, the relationship aspect of things, the you truly matter um, at Illinois College aspect of things. Um, we do a really good job at making you feel like more than just a number um, and building those relationships inside and outside the classroom to make you uh, productive and to give you those opportunities that you might not receive at other places. Um, we do a really good job at that here, um, as even to the point where our president seems to know every single student on campus's name. Um, so we are really a heavy relationship driven here on campus, and we're very proud at putting you first. So that's the biggest takeaway I would have to say about us. Um, I think one important thing about us is that um, we are a community college, so we are built to help save you some money those first two years of college, and we also have a really great atmosphere here, and we're going to treat you like family. Oh, I think it's me. Uh, sorry. Um, so uh, I think that the thing that I would want you to remember is that uh, the students who really succeed at Hendricks are the ones who are looking for that that really close community experience, uh, an experience where you really get to know each other very well, um, and uh, and also who are ready to work really hard. Our academics are really rigorous, and um, the students who really thrive here are the ones who are who are ready for that challenge. I'm going to go ahead and piggyback off my fellow small school uh, brethren here. Um, definitely, you know, that, that smaller campus, smaller feel, um, you know, not, I think we're at 10 to 1 uh, student faculty ratio. So definitely going to get to know your professors. One thing, though, that I will add is that we are not a research institution. And so our professors were hired to teach. And so that is their main focus is on you. And so because we are so small, we get to tailor, you know, your degree and kind of your vision, you know, to you, which I think is, is pretty special. Um, for SIUE, I would say that um, for the price, you're going to get a phenomenal education. It's a wonderful community, gorgeous school, and lots of student resources to help support students. Wonderful. Thank you. The next question I have for you all is, what is one piece of advice you would give to anyone going through the college search process right now? This is a great one. Um, we actually had a, a bit here on campus tonight and that was a big topic for discussion. Uh, the most important piece of advice I can give any prospective student going through the process is something that probably all my colleagues will agree with. Um, answer the phone, uh, utilize your admissions counselor throughout the process. Um, you can't say it enough. We are human beings behind those phone calls. Um, a lot of those emails and text messages are coming directly from us um, and we are not robots. Uh, so with that, uh, utilize this as much as possible. We're here to be of service to you. Um, we're here to serve you and we're here to be um, your resource um, and your um, kind of your communication here through the colleges. So um, yeah, just utilize your admissions counselor. I would say um, take advantage of any financial aid opportunities that you have, you know, fill out those scholarship applications um, fill out the FAFSA, even if you think you might not be eligible for any grants and um, talk to your financial aid department at whatever colleges you're interested in. And uh, again, utilize your admissions advisor because they can help point you in the right way. 
Uh, those are both really, um, I, I agree with both of those for sure. Um, I would say in general, uh, we believe and I believe that the most important thing is to find the right fit uh, for the ones that really call out to you or that strike you in some way. Um, it, it, it's our belief in our office that we're not going to be the right school for everybody and, um, and, and that we want everybody to land where they're supposed to land. Uh, and the, the last thing I'll add to that is that I hope that this can be a joyful process for you as well. It's very stressful, but it, there's also a lot of hope there. And, and I hope that this can be joyful for you. Yeah, and then for me, um, you know, I would say visit campus, go on lots of visits, go see a small school, go see a big school. Um, I think that's really important to get the right feel because you may think you want a big school and then you get there and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And same with, you know, a smaller school, like I'm going to need a little bit more. So, you know, picking back on what everyone else had already said, I would definitely say to go visit as many campuses as you can. I would say just in general, um, don't get too stressed out if you don't know what you want to major in quite yet, you still have time to figure that out. Um, and a lot of universities will have support to, to assist you in that process. Wonderful. And my last question is always a fun, quick one. What is your favorite on-campus tradition? I would probably say uh, um, Follies. Um, it's a nice little talent show that we have every year. Uh, during the homecoming event, um, a lot of really incredible uh, musicians and, and actors and stuff like that have taken place uh, or have, have were taken in those events, um, even to the point where we had a girl a couple of years ago who actually um, was on, I believe, The Voice or, or it was either America's Got Talent or The Voice uh, from here in the Jacksonville area. I don't know how far she went, but um, getting to see her um, perform in front of the student body was really incredible. As many people do, I enjoy food. So uh, I like our Pi Day that we have every year. The Baptist Student Union uh, sponsors that. And basically it's just a lot of free pie that um, students and faculty all go to the student center and eat together. Uh, traditions are a big deal on our campus. Um, at the beginning of the year, every year, there is a gigantic dance competition between the freshman dorms. Uh, even people who come in and say, oh, I'm not going to take part in it, they end up taking part in it. Um, the other thing is that we take birthdays extremely seriously. The whole cafeteria will sing to you on your birthday, uh, whether you like it or not. It was my birthday a few weeks ago, and I, I didn't want it, and then I was really glad that they sang. It felt great. And also your friends will throw you into the fountain on your birthday. So you have that to look forward to. Sounds like a good time. Um, for me, I'll, we've got a couple, like one at the beginning, one at the end that I'll share real quick. The first one is called Storm the Gate. Um, and that is like kicking off your experience. So you run through Rogers Gate, which is kind of our iconic thing that you can see behind me. Um, and we're all cheering for you. And then you get Andy's ice cream afterwards. So it's totally worth it. Uh, and then the, the last part, there's a thing at graduation called the Ivy Chain Ceremony. It's actually been going um, since like 1900. Um, and they drape a, a long chain of ivy all, all over all of our graduating seniors, do a little presentation presentation and at the end they cut the IV so it's like you guys grew together now you're going your separate ways so, so a couple um, in the center of the quad they have a rock and so different student groups will like uh, spray paint the rock and sometimes it's like you compete to like have your if it's like a Greek group maybe like your um, letters on the rock um, the other day it said spread the love so that's a fun little tradition another one during homecoming they do a lot of um, traditions but one of them is they eat ice cream sundaes out of canoes Thank you all so much for sharing that. It was a lot of fun. And also thank you for joining us tonight. So that concludes our session tonight. And that concludes the virtual college fair. Uh, after we close this window, a very quick five question survey will appear. We ask you please fill that out. And a recording of this session, all session, all sessions available um, will be available at strivescan.com slash Missouri. Thank you all so much for joining again. Good night.